Hi, welcome. Today what we're going to do is create a surface mount component tray. Uh, so first thing you can see is I've already got via CAD 14 open. I will go up here and grab a center polygon tool. Uh, we'll, we want our tray to be 25 millimeters by 25 millimeters. We'll go ahead and extrude that out. We don't want our tray to be too deep, so we'll just make it 12.5, half the distance of what our polygon is. So 12.5. All right, let's take a look at that. Yep, that looks good. All right, so now we need an opening for the tray. We need to hollow it out. So we'll go back to the top. We'll choose our hollow. Choose the top face, click it again. It gives us a two millimeter walls on the sides and the bottom. That looks pretty good. But uh, what I'd like is to round these bottoms uh, in the corner so it makes it easier to get the little uh, components out. Uh, I usually work with a 603, so 603s and smallers would be tough to get out of a corner box. So we'll go here to the chamfer tool. Uh, five millimeter radius is pretty good. We'll rotate around. Chamfer all our edges internally. All right. That looks pretty good. Right now I want to put a little lip on this so that it can set to a larger tray because just one of these components or one of these, uh, let's call them drawers, by itself is not enough to hold all the components that I need for resistors and capacitors and such. So let's go to the top again. All right, let's go to our square tool. This time we're going to go out 29 by 29. That'll give us two millimeters of uh, thickness for our edge here. All right, that looks pretty good. We've already got one polygon down there already, so let's go ahead and grab both of those. That polygon, that polygon, we'll extrude those out. We want the, the uh, shelf lip to be two millimeters. Well, that didn't work very well. Let's undo that. Right. I'm going to go ahead and hide this box. All right, now, choose this polygon and this polygon. Extrude it out a distance of two millimeters. There we go. All right, now, we'll show all objects again. And we want this to be at the top uh, so it'll fit into our tray. Choose that part. It should be about 10 millimeters to the top. All right. Let's take a look at it. View it from the right side. Whoops, I forgot the 0.5, so we'll raise it up another half a millimeter. There we go. Now let's uh, union all those together. All right. Take a look. That looks pretty good. So I'm thinking my tray, I want four of these across, uh, and four deep. So a total of 16 uh, little tray drawers or trays uh, that'll fit into my drawer. So now we need to copy these. All right. So control copy. Go to the top and we'll just create mirrors of these. Control copy, paste. There we go. All right. I don't want them to be right up against each other, so let's move this one away one millimeter. Yep, that looks pretty good. So we'll do 
control shift and more copy and paste again mirror these all right now we need to move those over one millimeter Perfect. We'll copy all of those since we're doing the 16 by 16. Control C, Control V. Whoops. I need to make sure I get right on that endpoint to make it parallel. Then we'll move that away one millimeter. Then we'll do Control C, Control V, then go along the parallel, select it, move it up one millimeter. All right, so there's all our trays for the drawer. All right, now we need to make the drawer. Choose our tool. This time we're going to choose corner to corner or point to point. All right, so that's 119 by 119. So let's add four to that, and that'll give us a two millimeter uh, edge around each one. All right, so this will be 123. By 123. All right, now we need to center it. So we choose this tool, align. We want to center vertical. And we'll center right there. Oops. We need to turn on the grid first. There we go. Did not center properly. So sometimes you, what you have to do is you have to select the uh, object again. So this time we'll center horizontally. There we go. It gives us two millimeters all around. That looks pretty good. All right, it made it right under, right under our trays. So let's take a look at the right side here. Oh, it, at, right at the top. Awesome. So now we're going to extrude. We want the whole thing. We'll cut the holes out here in a second. We only want it to be two millimeters thick though. All right. So our top is two millimeters. So we need to, and this is a, a thickness where our drawer itself, uh, its thickness is two millimeters, so we need to bring it down a total of four. So we'll grab that. We'll go minus four millimeters. All right, that puts it right under underneath our little cups, our little trays. Now we need to cut the holes out in our uh, platform here. So to do that, we're going to have to hide this. And then go back to the top. All right, so when you cut, whatever you cut with disappears. So we'll do a control copy, control paste, and then we'll hide those. Let's back up here a second. We'll do a control Z. Another control Z. Now we'll do another copy. Control C. Control V. We'll move it over rather than making it uh, hidden. We'll put it over a known amount, 200. 
millimeters. Now we'll bring it back. Bring back all objects. Yep. All right. So uh, if we do it this way, what's going to happen is that the trays will cut out it will it will cut out the uh, drawer that we've just made, but it'll leave this uh, center part. So what we're going to do is we'll use the split tool rather than the union or boolean. And this will allow us to do it, uh, delete those parts. So we'll choose that. We'll choose that. Choose that. Choose that. Choose the drawer. Choose a tray. Choose a drawer. Choose a tray. Whoops. I don't know if that worked right. Let me check it here real quick. Yep. All right, do this. Go back to doing what we're doing. Choose that. Choose that. Choose that. Choose that. That. Choose that. Choose the drawer, choose the tray, drawer, tray, drawer, tray, drawer, tray, drawer, tray, drawer, tray, drawer, tray. Drawer, tray, drawer, tray. All right. So that gives us all our cutouts that we want. We choose that. Go back to the top. We'll move it over the distance as well. The 200 millimeters. We did exactly as we wanted. Perfect. And now let's get rid of all this junk. Yep. All right, let's move this back. Minus 200 millimeters. See how that looks. Yep. That looks good. All right, so what I'd like to do now is delete all these trays except for one and work on refining one because we only need one to print. We want to print them all at once, I don't think. What so keeps our model uh, a little bit smaller or our file a little smaller. So I choose. Delete all these. Delete these. Delete that one. Now what I want to do is I want to bevel the edges here. So it goes into our drawer a little bit easier. All right, let's take a look at it real quick. Yep, smooth edges. That does it for today's demonstration. Uh, I'll end the video here. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this useful. And I'll, uh, right after following this video, I'll show you uh, how everything turned out as far as the print goes. Thanks for watching.